wrong with me? Okay, hi everybody, it's me, Poe. Um, I decided to go ahead and do a tutorial, the best I could anyways, on Sony Vegas. I have Sony Vegas 8.0, so, but I think that 7.0 and 8.0 are actually pretty damn similar. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do as best I can. I am an extreme Sony Vegas amateur. A lot of people think I do really good though, so... This is for them, I guess! <laughs> So on with the show. Um, you're going to go ahead and open your Sony Vegas. And this is what mine looks like when it comes up. I'm just going to do a quick rundown of the layout so you understand what does what. Um, with each little section here, there's an X and a little um, arrow. And that's either exit out of that part of the screen or expand on it. You know. So this is going to be right here. This is the little preview screen so you can see what you're doing down here seeing how it's gonna come out and if you want to get out of that just press the X and over here is the master sound volume part if you you know up and down that's the way to go and if you don't want that then just exit out of it that's what I do I don't need that I know what I'm doing so okay <coughs> And then over here, all these little tabs, um, I'll tell you what these are for. This is the Explorer tab that's open right now. And what I do is I, I store my clips on my desktop in a file. But if you have your clips, say, in your documents file, it lets you quickly go there and, and drag them down. So, But uh, yeah, I hold mine in my documents, or in my desktop. It's just much easier to get to. Okay, and then you go over to Trimmer. Trimmer is once you open a clip, um, the trimmer lets you decide what part of the clip you want to put in. Project Media, it has absolutely nothing in here except media bins, and it still has nothing. So I don't even know what that does. See? I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. Shocking, I know. Media Manager, it says it's not even installed. I don't even know why. See? Another thing. I'm not so quick. Hmm? Transitions. These are all the transitions it will let you do. A uh, transition, for those who don't know, is a video effect f that is in between two clips. So, say someone is having a flashback that you want to make them have like a memory. You might show somebody's face and then do a transition of a flash like that. Whoosh, whoosh. And then do the little memory. And then flash back to them, you know? It's, it, that's what it is, a little animated thing. And then video effects. Now this is some fun shit. Video effects, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can do black and white. You can do just a little bit black and white. You can uh, give your give it a border if you want to. I mean, I'll go into these a lot more in detail later, but I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of the uh, the tabs we have here. I mean, there are so many things you can do. It's not even funny. Look, that was freaky, huh? Alright. And then the last one is media generators. Now, say you want to have a picture of, I don't know, um, some clouds or something. You can pick clouds somewhere along here. I don't even see it, but I swear it's on here. Anyways, so and y even if you want some kind of weird, you know, testing TV thing, you can use that. But... <coughs> And also, you can also use this for credits. See, if you go to text, you can use a solid background with like a white text for your credits, or you can actually push the credits roll. So, it's really cool. So those are basically all the little tabs over here. I usually just stick in the explorer and trimmer area. So, And right here, there's a lot little arrow right there, you see? You just move it on up. And this big old whopping space right here is your timeline. And when you put a clip in here, you can make it be one huge clip, or you can split it up into parts. And when you split it up into parts, if you, you see how it's doing this little shape shift arrow right there? If you pull it like this and drag it along, it makes the timeline tiny and littler. If you go big, it goes from 0 seconds to 15 seconds. Or if you make it smaller like this, 
it goes from 0 seconds to 2 seconds to 4 seconds to 6 seconds. I like to make it smaller because I'm very, very picky and finicky about the, the way I do my montages. I want, you know, maybe just showing a character's face for 2 seconds and then go to something else. It usually takes me a while to do a montage because I'm such a Virgo. I am such a Virgo. I'm so picky about things, so. But anyway, that's that's the timeline right there. And when you go ahead and make your montage or your, or your video of whatever you're doing, you can put music down here, voice clips, and video clips. So I'm going to show you how to do something like that. So... Okay, so the clip I'm going to choose is August 16th, 2006, which I believe is right before the the buddy the stupid Austin. Okay, so what you're going to do is go ahead and right click, and I don't think you can actually see this on your screen because the screen recorder won't show it, but when you right click it gives you some options. Open project, open and trimmer, blah blah blah. You're going to pick open and trimmer. So after you right click to get all these options, you're going to left click to select that. And then that clip will go into this trimmer. And like I said before, you can make this bigger or shorter and it will um, make the clip in smaller increments or bigger ones. When it's in smaller ones, like you can see right here, it will show the volume peaks. So you can tell when they're talking, when they're quiet, whatever. Now what you're going to do is this is the slider bar that lets you go along the clip and get some movement and it will show this in the little preview screen right here. <coughs> now, I'm going to pick the part where she comes into his apartment. So you're going to left click and pull that bar right there. Okay. And then what you're going to do is, all I want is the picture, I don't want the sound. So I'm going to right click, and it gives you options, select video and audio, or select video only, select audio only. I just want the video, so I'm going to left click on select video only, or you can just simply push the tab button on your keyboard. So, and then you can either copy and paste this down here or just drag it. I'm just going to drag it because it's just easier. So you left click it and you drag it down to your timeline. And it appears over here and you can slide it along anywhere along the timeline you want. I'm just going to put it at the beginning of the timeline because I don't really care where it's going right now. And then I'm going to make this um, the time bar down here smaller. So see how it's expanded out now? so you could edit it easier. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and push play so you guys can see. Ooh, EJ, thank you. Oh, you made this for me. Oh, I'm touched. Austin sucks at this shit. Okay, sorry, that was rude, but you got it. So there it is. And that's when you would go ahead and put in more clips, and you would do your effects, and your transitions, but that comes at a later time. I just wanted to go ahead and show you the main layout. But real quick before I stop, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add music to it. <coughs> now since the first thing we dragged down on this line right here was a clip, this line right here is just going to hold videos. You can't put a sound clip in this part, this up top part. That's going to have to go for down here. So I'm going to go ahead and I know what music I want and it's on my desktop too. So. I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop, and if something doesn't show up on your desktop and you just added it, push this little refresh button, and I did, and look, there's a song right there. Now, all I'm going to do is left click on this and drag it down right here, underneath the clip, and give it a minute, and it's going to build the peaks for the song, you know, so you can see the highs and lows, and there it is, right there, and it's right underneath the clip, so... And you can move it along, too, if you want them to talk for a while or something, you know. But now this stretch of time right here, this line, is just going to hold sounds. You can't put a clip in here, because this is now an audio time. And this is video, this is audio. So let's see what happens. Okay. 
Okay, see? It sounded nice. So basically, this is just me showing you the, the layout. I'm going to continue again and do things like how to edit and, and the kind of transitions you can do, etc., etc. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the layout. So I hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of in-depth. I know I talk a lot. So anyways, this is Poe, and uh, have a good night. Bye.